In this video, we will see how to produce the T1135 form Foreign Income Verification Statement within UFile. For more details on the Foreign Income Verification Statement requirements, please consult the description of this video. Go to the CRA question section on the left hand menu and at the question did you own foreign property in 2020 with a total cost of over $100,000 choose yes. Click next at the bottom of the page. A new section will appear on the left hand menu called Foreign Income and Property. Choose it and on the page to the right, click on the plus sign next to T1135 Foreign Income Verification Statement. On the T1135 entry page, scroll down and select the appropriate reporting method. Two options are presented to you, the detailed method and the simplified method. If you own foreign property with a total cost of 100,000 to 250,000 Canadian, then you choose the simplified method. If you own foreign property with a cost of over $250,000 Canadian, you choose the detailed method. Let's start with the simplified method. Choose yes to the question, complete the T1135 statement. New sections will appear underneath. Indicate whether this T1135 is an amended return or not. In the identification section, Indicate whether you are self-employed or not. Under the simplified method, the only requirement is to indicate the type of foreign property that you possess. Tick the boxes next to the appropriate types of properties. Select the top three countries based on the maximum cost amount of the specified property. If you need to add another country, simply click on the plus sign to the right. Indicate the income that was gained from all of this specified foreign property. If there was a gain or loss from the disposition of any of the specified property, indicate it in the appropriate box. Click Next at the bottom of the page. Now let's have a look at the detailed method. Under the detailed method, more information is required to be inputted on the T1135. Select the appropriate situation that applies for you during the tax year. Since we are under the detailed method, we will choose was 250,000 or more. Select the category of the type of foreign property that you hold outside of Canada. Enter a description of that property.
indicate the country in which the foreign property is held. Indicate the maximum cost of this property during the year. Indicate the cost of this property at the end of the year. If any income was gained with this property, indicate it in the appropriate box. Once you have completed the entry of this specific category, click on Add another to add another category of foreign property. Complete the next category the same way you completed the first. Once you are done with your entries, click on Next at the bottom of the page. Thank you for using UFILE.